I would I call the Honourable the Parliamentary Secretary and Member for Braddon? Thanks very much and good morning, colleagues. I would like to talk about the, the good, the bad and the ugly, if I may. Uh, the good, of course, is the announcement on Wednesday that uh, faster broadband uh, would be coming to the northwest coast of Tasmania and to the rest of Australia, of course, uh, when um, all Australians now will have access to faster speeds in the national broadband than they can get today over the ageing copper network following an upgrade to the NBN's fixed wireless and satellite services. And this is really important to people in my electorate and no doubt to yours too, uh, Mr. Mr Deputy Speaker. Uh, th those people are outside the, uh, the fibre rollout areas and that means that everyone uh, will have access to broadband and the superhighway. Uh, will now provide speeds of 25 megabits uh, per second for downloads and 5 megabits per second for the uploads. And of course, there's a guarantee of the national wholesale pricing for broadband services. So that's fantastic news. Uh, the, uh, the good, the bad, uh, unfortunately, is that uh, recently Tony Abbott uh, came to Tasmania. That's not bad so much as he's, everyone's welcome to Tassie. Um, but he was uh, asked. Uh, to make his um, uh, policy clear in terms of uh, the GST and its distribution and the model thereafter that would be used for that distribution. And he was asked to clarify again uh, his views on the GST for Tasmania and whether he would continue to support uh, Western Australia's demand uh, that it be the GST be based on a per capita modelling. He refused uh, to repudiate uh, the uh, Western Australian model and demand uh, from Colin Barnett and uh, again has refused uh, to rule out uh, the threat of $700 million loss to Tasmania if Tony Abbott uh, does not abide by the current GST distribution model. Uh, he was also asked about uh, policies and funding for Tasmania and he came out with a ridiculous statement that he would completely uh, duplicate the highway, the Midlands Highway, from Hobart to Launceston for $430 million, when $2.5 billion to three is what it will cost. So this is the silliness. And then today we hear about his plan for North, uh, Northern uh, uh, Australia, uh, where he's going to rip out 46,000 uh, public service jobs. Uh, 4,000 of those, I estimate, would come from Tasmania. And he's talking about creating a food bowl in the north of Australia. We've got a food bowl in Tasmania, and if Tony Abbott and his cronies would commit to policies that would support the development of those industries in Tasmania instead of some of these crazy ideas in the north, uh, then we might get somewhere.